I bet you never thought coupons could be this exciting. Started a few years ago as a side project, Groupon specializes in finding the hottest deals in your area, and they're poised to become one of the fastest growing companies ever. I'm here at their Chicago headquarters to find out how their tech team has helped to make them so successful, and if you're into that kind of thing, how you can get the best job ever. Thank you so much for having us here at your offices. They're awesome, by the way. Welcome. So, so for those people out there who don't know and don't get the daily emails, what is Groupon? We are a, a daily deal site, so we offer deals on great experiences, restaurants, businesses in your local town. And how do you think the product has evolved over the past couple of years? I mean, the product was very simple to begin with. It didn't have sort of much technology behind it, to be honest with you. And over the last few years, I think we've really built up the technology supporting it. So both from an e-commerce standpoint, transactions and orders, a scale standpoint, you know, we went from serving hundreds of people to now serving tens of millions of people. What's it like working for such a, you know, a high intensity, constantly growing company? Groupon is a really, really simple site looking from the outside in, but to make uh, our orders processing as quick as possible and to make our site as scalable as it is, there's a lot of work that goes into that and there's a team behind it. And so when you come here and work for Groupon as an engineer, Everything you do has a huge impact. We make a little tweak on a page, we run it through some analytics tests and we get our data back, oh, we made you know X amount of money because we made this change. And the engineers are the ones implementing those changes. The company has ballooned to over 5,000 people. How do you maintain a, a bond between employees once you get that big? In a lot of companies, a lot of organizations, there's sort of this artificial wall where um, designers will build comps and sort of throw them all over the wall to either the product manager or the engineer, and they then go implement it without really having have ever having a conversation. We really try to get our designers to sitting directly with our engineers, pairing essentially, and so they can just solve those problems right there without really even sometimes me even being involved. Uh, right now, what I'm working on is Groupon Now. It's basically real-time deals for merchants and consumers. You walk out your door, type in your area code or address, and you find immediate deals around you. How we started the project, which is actually pretty cool, we did a lot, a lot of cross-technology pairing. So I didn't have a whole lot of experience with the API side. So we took an API guy, and I'm like, hey, API guy, let's, let's party. I'll learn some of that stuff. And then you come over to my side, we learn some of the front end, back end stuff. By doing that, we kind of cross pollinated our knowledge because everyone has their, their niche. And by directly pairing and doing some social coding with other people in the project, it's been really cool to uh, get a lot of visibility into how the system's working. What would you say is unique about the architecture here at Groupon? In just the sheer scale that we've had to deal with, I mean, there's a lot of interesting caching strategies that we're using. There's a lot of database relational strategies. The way that we use Ruby is very Ruby. It's not the strict object-oriented you know, Java way. It's, it's object-oriented plus the Ruby metaprogramming. Our continuous integration server, uh, we use Hudson. It runs the entire suite of, of tests and tells us whether or not we've put crap out there and polluted the environment or if everything is good. By me putting a certain feature in place, I could be totally screwing up someone else's code. There's so many people on our team developing so many different parts of the system. If we don't continuously check our code against other people's code, that can have really big effects because there are so many teams doing so many different things, you can't just assume to know everything about everything. It's too big of a platform for that. What kind of skill sets do people need to bring to the table when they look to get a job here? We deploy code every week. Sometimes we're pushing code every day or even a couple of times a day. It's hard as an engineer when things change mid, sort of mid sprint and so you have to be able to sort of put up with that and, and understand that that's just the sort of environment we work in. Also someone who sort of pushes back as a, a product manager, sometimes I can come up with ideas that are a little too crazy and having someone like Sean who can just push back and say, you know what, that's not the best way to do it. We could do it this way, it'd save us three days and I think be a little bit better, you know, that's really important. What would you say to the younger you in terms of getting a job at a company like Groupon? Hey, look at what the industry is doing, look what the successful companies are doing. What's the edge of the edge? Go out and seek that and actually having an opinion. Like me, I, I we use some cucumber here, here. I hate, I really, I hate it, I freaking hate it. But you know what, I'm gonna learn it anyway because it at least allowed me to form an opinion on it. And when I can talk about my opinion, people respect that. 
One of the coolest things about engineering at a company with such a rapid rate of growth is that one small piece of code can affect millions of people and dollars. Having a strong opinion about your own process is a good thing, but being able to listen only adds to the social coding experience that lets Groupon engineers get to the next level. Search Dice.com for thousands of e-commerce jobs and you might just find your best job ever. Hey everyone, remember that our best interview ever contest isn't over yet. Each week, head over to dice.com slash contest, answer one of our interview questions, and you could win a Connect. And tech pros share those answers. The most popular answer each week wins.